Hey everyone, welcome to your workout. Now today is gonna to be a strength workout and it's gonna be focused on your lower body. So like we do with every one of our workouts, we are gonna invite you to begin with us by warming up and practicing the movements that you're gonna do. Now we're gonna start with just two movements and our first one is a deadlift. So again, for the next 20, 30 seconds, all we're doing here is reaching down towards the ground and then standing back up again. That's your version of a deadlift. Remember that exercises can look very different. If you see us doing something, it's great to mimic that, but again, it doesn't have to look exactly like us. We want you to be able to move the best way you know how. Now from there, we're going to also practice doing our squat, and you'll see us doing some variations. This is one of mine uh, I learned a long time ago called the squat to stretch. You'll see me squatting, keep my hands on my toes, I stretch back up, and then I might even stand up and do a couple of body weight squats. Again, all I'm doing is warming up the motion, right? getting used to doing squats. I'm kind of playing around with it. I'm making sure that it feels good and I'm taking note. If anything doesn't feel good, if I'm not liking the way my knees are bending or the way my back feels or you know how straight it is, I'm going to change it up a little bit. So again, that's all we're doing there. Just making sure that you look and feel good. All right. Now some quick notes before we get started. We'll talk about how long this is going to take. We're going to aim for four rounds of everything. Each little mini circuit here is going to take about eight minutes. All said and done with your warm up. It's a 20 minute plus workout. Okay, five, four, three, get ready for your deadlift, one, and begin. You're gonna go ahead and start by doing your deadlifts. Now the reminder here, you're gonna go 45 seconds of every movement today, 45 seconds on, and then you're gonna take 15 seconds to transition and get ready for your next exercise. Now I love grouping my times like that because it, it all adds up to a minute. Everything you're doing, working out and rest, adds up to a minute, so it's fairly easy to remember. You get used to the timing of it. 15 seconds is enough breathing time, enough transition time to make sure that you can take a breath, but not enough to let you rest completely and get everything back down. You know, We want you to keep going here, right? Kind of a combination of strength and a little bit of cardio. That being said, you've got about four more seconds here. Two, one, take a little break. Nice job on that first round of deadlifts. Take the next 15 seconds and get ready for your squat. Again, you may use whatever you want. You have body weight, you have kettlebells, bands, backpacks, you know you have lots of options. Three, two, one, begin. Let's take a look at that squat. Now while we're here, let's talk about the intentions. We've got four rounds today, and each round we're going to kind of focus on something a little different. We're gonna build what you're doing so that it, it looks and feels great, and by the time you're done, it's gonna be a workout. All of that being said, right now, your goal is to look and feel good. That's our first intention, and it's always our highest priority. Even when you get deep into the workout, you're on your fourth round, your highest priority, the main thing you're always doing is making sure that you look good, making sure that you feel good, because that's going to make sure that you're staying healthy. It's going to keep you away from injury. It's going to help keep it reasonable, and that's a big part of what we're doing here. Three, two, one. Excellent work. That's one full round in. You've done about two minutes. So again, you're going to take the next 10 seconds or so and get ready to go back into deadlift, right? Your second round of your deadlift. Four, three, two, one, begin. Now, quick note, intentions first. Round two, you're still making it look good and feel good, right? That never changes. If you feel like you can do that, you're adding into it the secondary focus pattern or the, the second intention and that's to dial it up a little bit that's to make it look a little bit better than it was the first round doesn't have to be perfect we're not chasing after perfection here we're chasing after better we're chasing after excellence and you get there by practicing you get there by making mistakes every once in a while paying attention and learning about what you're doing learning about how you can make this better 10 more seconds to go Deadlifts look good, they feel good, you're standing up tall and proud. Three, two, one. Nicely done. All right, take 15 seconds to breathe, take 15 seconds to transition, get ready for a second exercise or get ready for that squat pattern, your second movement. Going again in four, three, two, one. Let's see those squats. All right, second intention stays the same. They look good, they feel good. Now you're trying to make these squats look and feel a little bit better than they did the first time. Lots of ways to do that. My favorite way is to add a little tension, add a little flex. Whether you're at the top or at the bottom, at some point during that move, pause for half of a second and flex. Start with your core, get your glutes on, 
branch out, try your legs, try your arms, flex something, make it, <laughs> make it firm for just a second, right? Turn rock solid and then add that relaxation. Get back into moving. It's easy ways to do it, simple ways to do it. You've got about seven more seconds here. Keep going. Four, three, two, one. You're halfway through the set. Nice job. Believe it or not, it's been four minutes. We're going for eight. So again, a great job making it through the middle point here. Take a breath. Get ready. We're going to go again in three, two, one, and deadlift round three. Now your intention here is to make it feel like exercise. I love talking about intensity because it's that thing that kind of ties a nice little bow on what you're doing. Your form looks great. You're dialing it up a little bit, right? You're checking in to make sure that everything still feels right and better and you're aiming for improvement. And now's the point at which you, maybe you add a little weight. Maybe you change your speed. Maybe you change how deep you're going. Whatever you're doing, it's all pointing you towards the fact that this is challenging. It's moving from easy, if it ever was easy, up into that medium to challenging range. Doing that guarantees that you're getting resistance, that you're signaling to your body that it needs to change, it needs to adapt and get stronger. Three, two, one. Which is why almost every single workout we will talk about making it feel like exercise. You do what works for you, keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's see squats. And again, we are going to go round three intention of making it feel like a workout. It should feel challenging. Good work, good work. Keep it going, keep it going. Here we go, stand up tall and proud. Excellent work here. Very good. Now, if you've been paying attention, some, we know some people watch the video, some people just listen along. If you're watching the video, you'll see that I routinely will switch from a kettlebell to a band. And the main reason I'm doing that is just to give you options to show you that there's not just one way to do squats, there's lots of ways to do squats. Four, three, two, one, take a break. Personally, my preference is to do the same thing. I like consistency. I like being able to practice the same thing. I know some people thrive in variety. Again, the charges always do what feels right for you. Ready for your last round? Let's begin two, one, last round of deadlifts. And one thing I'm gonna draw your attention to, for some people, it feels a little bit better to change your feet around. What I'm doing right here is called a staggered stance deadlift. My feet are staggered, one's in front of the other. And doing this, you can feel a little more tightness, a little more stretch, usually on the foot that's forward as you're bending down. Again, I think of this as being different. Maybe it's advanced. Uh, maybe it requires a little more balance. Test it. Feel free to be your own scientist here. See how it feels for you. Some people feel better by pointing their toes out a little bit. You'll see Maggie has kind of a, a splayed foot. Um, and again, that can be great. If it's feeling good for you, if it's not painful, we can chase after that. Three two, one, nicely done. All right, that was your last time of deadlifts. Congratulations, hopefully it felt like a workout. You finished it well. Let's do the same thing with your squats. Last round begins in three, two, one. Be as creative as you need to be to finish well. Keep in mind that your intentions are stacking, they stay the same. Do you look good, do you feel good? Are you able to dial up your form, are you able to get your core tight? Are you able to be proud of the way that you're moving? If the answer to that is yes, then go ahead and build into making it feel like a workout. Now I'm gonna back up a little bit and say, if the answer to either of those is no's, that's your, is a no, that is your sign to stop there, to pause and to focus on doing that really well before you even think about making it feel like a workout. Make it look good, make it feel good. Do that and then build. Five, four, Three, two, one, take a little break. Awesome, all right, you made it through your four rounds. Legs should be feeling a little bit by now, right? If we're, if we're aiming towards fatigue, aiming towards making it feel like a workout, the goal is to have, have gotten a little burn, a little fire going there. Now, to help you get ready for the second part, which is still legs, let's do a little active recovery. For right now, Maggie and I are doing our down dog reps. Again, we love this as a stretch through the backside. You get into those shoulders a bit. Even though we haven't been focused on our upper body, you're using it. If you're holding a weight, guarantee those, those arms, that upper body's working. So again, this can be just a great little stretch. 
as always, if you have something that works better for you, if you've been given a corrective exercise from another trainer, a physical therapist, this would be a great, great part for you to use it. You get a solid minute longer if you'd like to pause the video, that's always okay. And then your goal here is just to recover. Keep it active, you're moving, right? You're staying pliable, you're staying loose. All right, and when you're ready, go ahead and meet us up top, and we're gonna take you through round two here. We've got two different exercises. We're going to start like we did at the beginning of the workout. We're going to warm up for a bit and make sure that you get a lot of practice so that you know what's coming. Our first exercise is going to be a lunge. Now, whenever we do lunges, I make sure to tell everyone when I'm working in person or virtually, right, you're seeing the video, is that there are so many different ways to do lunges. You've seen me now do a forward lunge. I'm doing a back step lunge. Those are great. I'm now moving into a side lunge. That can be a great one for you. Again, sometimes people's hips and knees don't always agree with the way that a, a certain lunge can, can be. So you move whatever way you can, move whatever way seems best for you. I like to think of a lunge as you're, you're just stepping. You're stepping one direction, right? It could be forward, it could be backward, it could be sideways, or it could be behind with a little rotation. Right now I'm doing a curtsy. If you can step with a foot and then bend those knees, I'm gonna count it as a lunge. Some of the ones that I can't show here because I don't have a step would be a step up. Right? Sometimes we let people substitute literally just going up and down their stairs uh, instead of doing lunges. So again, realize that you have some options. You're gonna see us do primarily those lunge movements today. Right, You'll see me kind of moving around with those. Again, we want you to do what feels comfortable. You get lots of good practice. And again, you're always looking to look and feel good. All right, continue to take a breath. We're gonna get rolling here in just a moment. You've got this. Four. Three, two, one, begin. Now we've got about eight more minutes of stopwatch time. Four rounds, the timing is the same setup as the beginning. You're gonna go for 45 seconds, you're gonna have a 15 second break, and then you're gonna switch legs. So it's not really a different movement, just a different side. Get comfortable on this side. Again, do whatever lunge pattern feels best for you. If you'd like to change things up, you can follow along with me. I'm gonna be doing a different one every time. Take your time to look good. Take your time to feel good. That's your intention for this first round. Give it about 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Take 15 seconds and get ready to switch legs. Now a quick word. Again, I will uh, kind of use a variety of tools here. I've got my kettlebell. You could just as easily use a dumbbell. I've also got my bands, right? my, my rubber stretchy things. Three, two, one. And there are some fun creative ways to move here. You can see that I'm switching, some, switching which foot it was on. Uh, based on the lunge, I might switch which foot has the resistance. And it, it's a personal preference. It just feels right for me if I'm stepping forward to have it under that front leg. If that's what you're doing, again, feel free to experiment. We love that idea. Try something out. If it doesn't feel quite right, change it up. Heck, even if it feels right, try changing it up and get, get some contrast, right? That's always okay. Take the next 15 seconds. Your intention here is still the same. Make sure it looks good. Make sure it feels good. You're kind of ironing out the wrinkles. You're also being mindful, paying attention to how your feet are connecting with the floor. Are your knees doing what they want to do? Three, two, one. Take a 15 second break. Nice job. You are one round in. You've lunged with both legs. We're getting ready to lunge some more. Lots of lunges. And you've got about six more minutes here. Three, two, one, begin. Now, not only can you change up how you're lunging, forward step, backward step, interesting little variables here, interesting little things that, that can make these exercises feel different. More challenging, less challenging, just different, can be if you have a weight. It could be where you're holding that weight. Sometimes that first round, you saw me holding the kettlebell down near my side. We call that a suitcase hold. Awesome. Chain challenges your core because it's off to one side of your body. Where I'm holding it now up in front of my chest is called the goblet style position. That gets to be interesting because it changes my center of gravity. It's now much higher, but it's central. And again, it doesn't make it necessarily better or worse. It's just different. And again, we love for you to be able to experiment with that. Three, two, one. Take a pause. Set that weight down. Do what you need to do. Take a breath. Get some water 
and get ready for round two. We want you to switch legs and you're gonna begin in three, two, one. Good. Now that quick reminder, like I said, you'll see me changing things up just about every time. Visually, I want to make sure that you see you have options and variety here. What works best for me, like I already mentioned, is to, to find a pattern that I really like and then stick with it. If you are comfortable with lunches, if you've done lots of them, this is usually where I'll encourage you to, again, pick one. Stick with it, get really good at it. Find one that maybe you're not so good at, right? Make sure it feels good, but challenge yourself here. That's always okay to do something a little outside of your comfort zone. Work on it to get better. Five, four, three, two, one. Two complete rounds done now. You should have done both legs two times. Take a breath. Think about what you want to do for round three. Do you want to stay consistent? Do you want to try a little variety? Either way can work. Three, two, one, begin. Awesome. Now let's talk about our intentions, round one and round two. We got a good feel for it. We made it a little bit better. Now that we're in round three, our focus is to start dialing it up, make it feel like exercise. If for whatever chance it was feeling easy, Think about speeding it up. Think about getting a little lower, doing what you can do to have that internal feeling of, ooh, this is moderate, this is challenging. It's starting to feel like a workout. You're getting maybe a little burn in those legs, a little fatigue overall. You're noticing your breathing has increased, heart rate, hearts maybe pounding a bit. Do what you can do to make it feel like a reasonable workout. Four, three, two, one. Take a little break. Get ready to switch legs. Now, just because I'm doing side lunges here does not mean you have to. If you want to join with me, you can. The other rule I tell people is just because you're doing one style of lunge on one leg does not mean you have to repeat that same style on the other. Let's go ahead and begin the other leg. Sometimes people get more comfortable doing a side lunge, let's say on their right leg. It just feels better on their knee, for instance. And then when it comes to their left leg, side lunges don't quite work out so well. It's painful. So they might change it to a back step lunge or a curtsy lunge. We always want you to be able to choose, have some say in what you do, and move well. 15 seconds to go, and again, this should be feeling like exercise. Breathe, be aware of what your body's doing, move well, you're checking all the boxes. You're gonna do great here. Two, one, awesome. Okay, 15 second break, you've got your last round staring at you. Two more minutes, and then we get to call it a day. Three, two, one. Let's go lunges. One more time on each leg. Feel free to be as creative as you want to be in that lunge style. Again, let's talk about our intentions in order. Just kind of ask yourself these questions. You don't have to say out loud, because that would be weird. We can't hear you. <laughs> Do you look good? Do you feel good? Are your feet, are your knees, are your hips doing what they want to do? Posture-wise, your upper body, is it where you want it to be? Intention number two, can you dial it up? Are you able to add a little flex? Can you add some tension? Can you be proud of what you're doing? If the answer is yes, then you think about making it feel like exercise. If you're running smooth here, if it feels like exercise, if you've checked the box all around, then your final goal is just to finish well. Two, one, take a break. Okay, take that breath, shake it out a little bit if you need to, stay loose, get ready for that last series. Two, one, begin. Here we are, last 45 seconds, check in with your body. Quick little things, it doesn't have to be forever. We're not looking for you to write a novel or to journal about your experiences here. <laughs> They're just quick little snapshots, quick little check-ins. And the reason we do that so often and every time is to make sure that, again, your movement looks good, to make sure that you're staying healthy and to make sure that it's quality exercise, to make sure that it's reasonable. If we can keep it that way, you can keep moving. And the more that you move, the more likely you are to stay strong, to get lean, to be fit. Four, three, two, one. Oh, y'all did such a good job. Okay. Take the next 15 seconds, shake it out, breathe, get some water if you'd like. 
we are going to wrap it up by doing our uh, our active recovery. And again, most likely do a down dog rep. You'll see me occasionally do a, a different, like a rotation stretch or a hip flexor. Again, you do what makes sense for you. Let's take this last minute and stretch it out. Now, here's where I'll tell you to just take a look at what's coming up next for you. Some of you are going to have another workout planned. This was a long one, right? Usually we recommend 25, 30 minutes a day. This is going to be the lion's share of your workout. For some of you, we might recommend doing uh, what we call bad yoga or a mobility or a flow to kind of add a little cardio into your day. If that's the case, if you know you have something on the agenda, you're now ready for it. You've recovered, your heart rate's down, and you stayed active. If, however, you don't have anything on the agenda, maybe you're not doing one of our programs, maybe this is your first time. Your goal here is still to warm down, to stretch it out, and to get your heart rate down so that you can do the next thing, which is just going about the rest of your day. We always want you to feel good. Being sore is not really a great measurement of having a good workout. <laughs> I always think if you're sore, we did something a little wrong. We went a little too hard. So again, stay loose, keep it reasonable, and thanks for joining us today. We really do love that you're here. We hope you had a good time, and we'll hope to see you in a later workout. Well, hey everyone, Maggie here. Say, we would love for you to subscribe to this channel. We have a lot more workout videos with different focuses and different lengths of time that we would love for you to check out. And if you subscribe, you'll kind of always be in the loop on what we're coming up with. Thanks again for joining us, gang. Make it a great day.